actually i got into this uh, field of climate change uh, through designing uh, improved smokeless cook stoves for rural kitchens so i have developed a few designs which help people reduce their dependence on firewood even if they don't have access to any better fuels uh, that definitely reduces both air pollution as well as uh, uh greenhouse gas emissions then i worked on um a technology for converting agricultural and garden waste into uh, biochar uh, which is basically charcoal substitute uh, to make charcoal traditionally people cut down trees and then um, you partially burn th that wood to uh, to make charcoal but here uh, we are using uh, uh, as our starting material uh waste which is left over after harvesting from agricultural field or uh, garden waste that is uh, leaves that fall on the ground uh, when trees shed leaves or grass that is cut uh, uh, trimmings uh, from gardens and so on and so forth so that kind of biomass which would be i it it may go into a composting system but often uh, when it is too too large a quantity there is a tendency to just burn it off and that produces a lot of air pollution and is also adding carbon dioxide in the environment so instead of that we are suggesting that that biomass can be converted into charcoal uh, which we call renewable uh, charcoal or um, uh, biochar is a term that is typically used when this the type of char powder is uh, put in agricultural soil and it improves the fertility of the soil so um, we have also developed various products out of this uh, renewable char because it also becomes partially activated activated charcoal is a uh, is used as a filter in chemical industry so this char uh, sort of starts approaching those properties so we have developed some products based on that now what happens here is that you take garden waste you convert it into char you use it for something and ultimately it's going to end up in soil and this is inert carbon this doesn't react with anything so it will remain as carbon in the soil for thousands of years so in a way this is the world's cheapest and uh, least technologically intensive way of carbon capture and storage so um, this uh, according to me is a good a uh, solution for um, uh, mitigation of uh, or offsetting not mitigation offsetting carbon emissions uh, so this is a technology which i have been promoting for the last few years and uh, even in an urban setting for garden waste management this is uh, slowly gaining popularity